years from now, Mushoku Tensei is probably going to be looked back as a classic when it comes to anime that will constantly bring new discussion and engaging topics, many, many videos and essays made about the series. It is something that obviously has been discussed in depth heavily and continuously gets discussed to this very day, either through its controversial themes and topics or just the very narrative or theme of what the story is about. Regardless, Mushoku Tensei as a series is definitely popular. Say whatever you want, love it or hate it, it is a popular series. Light novel, anime, and manga. And I think one of the big things that people have obviously seen from Mushoku Tensei's anime, and I think most people that are fans of the series probably started with the anime and maybe went on to read the web novel or light novel, I believe probably can agree that the anime does a very good job of adapting the content from the original source. Is it perfect? No. No adaptation is perfect. But one thing I have said often when I watch this series is that it does the best that it can with the content that it adapts. And the main message and themes of the story is still conveyed throughout its episodes. And one of those episodes that I talked about literally yesterday was yesterday's episode with, you know, Ruijerd and Norn and Aisha kind of being thrusted back into the plot of the story and how there is some elements of the episode that was cut. But overall, in terms of the message and theme of what the episode was trying to provide, it was roughly the same. Basically, even if all the nitty gritty details weren't there, I feel like anime onlys that, you know, are actually paying attention will come to the same conclusion as someone that, uh, re you know, reads the original source. And I think that that shows the magic and beauty of Mushoku Tensei and that the staff, the storyboarders and everyone working on the show really is trying their best to present Mushoku Tensei in an anime format and keep the integrity of the story intact. So that leads into the main discussion of today, the skipped content of the latest episode. So this discussion popped in my head thanks to this post from Cloudy that he kind of posted. And I was like, you know what, after seeing this, it is true. There was some content cut that isn't relatively huge, but it does give much needed clarification to some scenes that might have felt a little bit awkward to those that watched yesterday's episode of Mushoku Tensei, and I wanted to dive into that. So let's start off with this one right quick, which I did briefly mention in my video yesterday, and that is this scene with Aisha and Norn. And as I highlighted in yesterday's video, there was clearly, you know, uh, you know, I guess issues with the sisterly relationship. Aisha was someone that felt inadequate because she was Rudis's half sister and someone that was basically a daughter of a concubine. She felt inadequate. She felt like, you know, she wasn't worthy, so to speak. And Norn, as an individual, was very reserved. It's someone that felt like she was inferior, probably, to Aisha because she wasn't able to make the same grades or come to the same conclusions to be that smart as Aisha was, and clearly did demonstrated throughout yesterday's episode. So with all those things coming into play, everybody that watched the episode definitely understood that there was a complicated relationship between these two characters and that it's clear the way to deal with them, you have to deal with them in a very distinct way, very differently from one another. For instance, what would work with Aisha is not going to work with Norn, vice versa. And obviously, I think everybody came to that conclusion that there is some difficulties there. But I feel like one thing I noticed yesterday from people commenting about the episode was that people inherently just outright hated Norn. That is something I noticed. A lot of people said that Norn as a character, this girl here, the left one, you know, was insufferable and her being mean to Rudy just was outright awful. Like, it, it shouldn't happen. And I want to talk about that for a second and it kind of goes along with the cut content, which is this here. There's more to it than that, but this scene in particular showcases Rudy's approach of handling the sisters, but also the overall emotions that the two sisters have for each other. It's very clear that Aisha and Norn they don't like each other to an extent. They, you know, pick on each other. They're siblings, obviously. But they got into literally a physical confrontation within this. And it showcases that it's not just them disagreeing or maybe not even confronting each other. They straight up get hands on, maybe potentially punching and pulling each other's hair. They they really do not like each other to some extent. And that is what Rudy has to deal with, which was one of the big driving forces to why he allowed Norn to move into the dorm. But because it would have actually 
have helped her situation a lot more, where she wasn't continuously probably getting into a fight with Aisha, and then trying to feel like she's inadequate or have insecurities because Aisha is a lot smarter than her, and then vice versa as well for Aisha. So there was a lot going on there, and I feel like this message of, you know, the episode, there was one thing that was lost, and that was the fact that Norn looks like she's just a bratty sister. I feel like that's what a lot of people, I assume, came to. I feel like the episode did a good job of presenting Norn as a character, but from what I noticed from anime only most people assumed she was just a brat and that she just did not appreciate what Rudy was doing for her and so let's clear the air about that that cut content etc and it also remind people of content from season one and that is the fact that Norn as a character since the very early beginning she even states within the episode that she doesn't even remember Sylphie because she was so young when you know the teleportation incident happened and so the only one that really she remembers in her mind truthfully at a very early age is her father Paul and obviously the only thing she knew was is the struggles of Paul trying to find his family get everybody back together you know constantly trying to fight to get people back and you know he was draining himself dry we saw it ourselves and nor saw this, saw her father push himself continuously, and it really weighed heavily on her, which showcases that she has, you know, a love for her father. She really loves her father, and she doesn't like to see her father unhappy. And so the first time she ever encounters this supposed brother that she has heard about, Rudy, in her life, there's a confrontation between Rudy and her father that she looks up to, and he's beating the crap out of Paul on the ground. So from her perspective, at a very early age, seeing the person you admire and you respect and love and your only family member getting abused by your so-called other family member, you're instantly not going to like them. So her overall aggression towards Rudy makes a lot of sense, all things considered from the past. That's something that sticks with you, especially in an early age with a kid that is easily, you know, just, I guess inspired by certain people or even kind of given issues to where like they resent people and so when you think of all these different type of things Norn as an individual her personality is very complex there's a lot more to her character than just being a bratty sister or just not respecting Rudy in any way it's more complicated than that it's because of her introduction with Rudy but also how Aisha has been in her life and what she's been doing as well there's constantly a competition between them and who's kind of better than the other and so it just it shows what type of person she is is. So, overall, this kind of showcases one aspect that the anime isn't perfect. Personally, I think the anime is doing the best that it can, and I think that it does a fantastic job with giving the proper time to a lot of the characters. But obviously, sometimes things do falter. They're not as good as they potentially could be, and I guess in this sequence, even though I'm a light novel reader and I have read the source, maybe I'm looking at it from that perspective and I can't see from an anime only... Maybe the reason why people assume that she's just a bratty sister is because it wasn't conveyed as properly as it should. Now, I could be wrong with that, but the point I'm trying to make is, is that the cut content, I feel like, probably made Norn's character come off very different in the episode. Which, speaking of their characters coming off very differently, we gotta look at this. This is another thing that Cloudy posts as well, which reminded me of this segment with... Aisha. And this scene is very fascinating because obviously in the scene, it doesn't really kind of say what's going on here in the anime, but in the light novel, it pretty much just straight up is Aisha being flirtatious with Rudy. And the very sequence of events is kind of jarring because it's like you wouldn't expect that from her, especially with what we saw in the episode, but it's clear that's what happened in the light novel. So those that really hate like uh, the whole stuff with Ocean Oko with Ruby and Aqua, Definitely not going to like this, finding out the truth behind Aisha's intentions with putting her hair down. But uh, getting on to the main point at hand, this was an element that obviously was removed as well. It toned down Aisha's character, showcasing just her admiration for Rudy that she has built up over the years as well. Because obviously throughout her upbringing, her mother aka the concubine, you know, has constantly hyped up Rudy, and constantly talked about him in a good light, and then when she met Rudy and tried to inspire and make her, you know, happy, you know, she learned to respect him. So, all that considered, it makes sense, you know, even if it's warped and messed up and twisted, her perspective on things. So, I'm not trying to justify it, but that's what's going on with her character. So, Aisha was being flirtatious, which is wild. Absolutely wild. He obviously ignores it. Rudy does ignore the entire sequence, and he's like, nah, he's not gonna do anything with that. It just... 
It's funny. It's legitimately funny, all things considered, when you think about just what this scene actually represents with the context. So yeah, the two sisters obviously were a major spotlight for the episode of Mushiku Tensei yesterday, and I feel like even though the episode gave the message across that the sisters have a very complicated relationship and they need to be dealt differently, the main core aspects or some of the core aspects of their personality that really kind of expand upon them was a little bit left out and disregarded to a degree. Is it something that, you know, will make me completely upset and I think that the anime is ruined? No, I don't think so. I think overall the content that was cut, I think the Aisha content, as much as I don't like censorship, etc., I don't think it's censorship, I just don't think they wanted to add it. I do think that overall, does it really do anything narratively, like, you know, keeping this segment in... Not really. I mean, they kept the way she looks in the anime, what she's doing here, so you could probably still get the emotion and idea of what she's trying to do without the words describing it. So I think that it keeps, once again, the integrity intact. It just doesn't have to spell it out for you. It just, it leaves the the viewer of the series, it, it's expecting you to have intelligence, so to speak. That, that's what the scene showcases. The same can be said with Norn, but once again, sometimes do, you know, do telling the obvious and speaking it out and letting the viewer know might be the best thing. But yeah, I'll leave it at that. I just, I wanted to talk about uh, Mushiku Tensei's cut content from yesterday's episode, mainly the two sisters, because I saw a lot of discourse about it, and I just wanted to uh, shed some light on the characters. But uh, I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my content and you want more of my content to appear in your feed, then do subscribe, do leave a like, hit that bell icon down below, and with that, Chibi out.